These two paramedics, EMTs, came in and said, what happened? And my wife and I looked at each other and said, we don't know. <laughs> like, In the summer of 2010, I wanted to build an outdoor shed. So it kept me outside after work until dark. I would start to get bitten by mosquitoes and I would spray insect repellent on my arms and on my neck and even on my face. Mosquito bites are part of life in the South. But I was wearing flip-flops while I was working. I never remembered to spray my feet. And when I would come in at night, I would find myself scratching my ankles. I took a nap one Saturday evening. When I woke up, I couldn't move my legs, which freaked me out, and I couldn't even sit up in bed. I couldn't tell whether I was dreaming or what was happening. It's, it's, it's surreal to wake up and not be able to move. I was in four different hospitals in six months. I suffered respiratory failure on my fourth day. I was on a ventilator for six weeks. I almost died. The doctors did notice mosquito bites. They also noted that it was late August. Late summer and early fall is when most cases of West Nile emerge. I was shocked when they told me it was West Nile. People who are older and have pre-existing conditions are more susceptible. I was a healthy 39-year-old guy, totally normal, and then boom. I was lucky to live. I wanted to kind of like turn it around and make it positive. That's why I got my mosquito tattoo. Take mosquitoes seriously. You can prevent mosquito bites. Use insect repellent. Wear long pants, long sleeves, or clothing that's been treated with permethrin. You can't overdo protection from West Nile virus. No one wants to be sick.